itself is owned by the guild. The owner is not actually the leader. This may come to the question later, but if a leader changes or a new person is promoted leader, nothing happens in the guild hall. It's always owned by the guild. Yeah, if you have someone who just leaves, you just promote someone up into it, they get all the, because of our access levels, it's at trustee level, officer plus, trustee, that is the highest level that can buy the amenities, we'll talk about later, that can buy the house. So your officers can do the work. Well, guild leaders have to buy the house, but officers can do everything else. Sure, yeah, so the access levels work just like player housing as well. You can assign uh, individual access levels, so there's different ways that you can assign access to guild halls. You can, there is a new permissions rank inside uh, the guild window that allows you to specify what rank has which default access level. So you can have recruits have no access or just uh, visitor access or whatever. So you can really tailor that to how you have your rank set up. In addition to that, you can assign individual access levels to specific players, just like player housing. So you might have somebody that's in a rank, but you want his access level to be higher than that rank. So you can specify that. You can also set access level to none for an individual person. So if you have one guy in your guild and you don't want to let in, you can pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> really, really tailor the yeah. access levels to the individual. There's also a default access level that you can set to a visitor just like a player house. So anybody can come in and visit your guild hall, or you can set that to none so that only your guild members can get there. So this is in these access levels can be modified by the and it's a pretty good idea if you're on PvP server, set it to visitor, let people come in, visit. You know, you might have a party with someone from Kino's free port, or you can just kill them. Yeah! <laughs> Execution! Alright, escrow system. The escrow system is how your guild members will help you contribute to the guild. What we have is an uh, escrow account that your uh, members can uh, contribute to. What they do is they pop up a window, and it says how much uh, money, plat, or personal status that they've earned that they want to deposit to the account. This account is used to buy amenities, pay the upkeep of the house. It's a pool that you all can all put into. You can't withdraw, so you don't, you know, dump everything into there. But you can't, everyone can put in their voluntary share. There's no tax, there's no force putting your stuff in there. They just have to uh, put it on their own accord there. Um, the, that last line, the guild hall upkeep is automatically deducted, isn't quite right. You still have to hit your uh, your pay up, your pay up. Just like a player house, it'll pull money and status from the escrow account first, and if it's dry, it'll pull it from the person who's clicking the pay up key. Is there a record that's a payment? Yeah, there's yeah. a full log of deposits and withdrawals into the escrow account, so you can see everybody that's putting money in, and when it's used, you can see who it's used by and for what reason. Now, the status is required. We'll get to that, but house items do not, the player housing house items do not contribute to status reduction of the guild. Oh, oh. yeah! yeah. And also, for that reason, we'll hold questions till the end. Alright, and then a lot, the other thing is that amenities are purchased using the escrow deposit, yeah, exactly. and we're going to go right into what the amenities are. Okay, so the amenity system is how you get the cool stuff in your house. This is how the cool stuff you get to buy that does stuff. They come in two forms, higher ladies, which are the NPC, or, or, uh, NPC uh, guys that get to hang around your employees, and amenities, which are cool little objects that do stuff. Um, they're purchased by a guild, or, yeah, a guild member with trustee access, which is default to Officer Plus. They appear at a predetermined pre location, meaning that in the guild hall there's a spot that when you buy it, they'll show up. You can click that thing and move it wherever you want to set it up in their house so that you can decorate around them. Uh, move it outside if you want to stick them all in your room, that's up to you. Um, they can't be picked up, so you can't put them in your, your backpack or whatever. But uh, to remove them, then you have a remove button. Um, you know what, let's, uh, let's, hit, let's switch it over. We can chill on that. All right. Hold. So right now we're in a tier three Antarctica. That's all we get. <laughs> Breaker. You're welcome. Three OB. Technical difficulties. Yeah, no, we're bad. Uh huh. 